guys, Kathleen here and welcome back to my channel. I just came back from the Nintendo Switch launch party at EB Games. It wasn't much of a party, but let's check it, the Nintendo Switch out. So here it is and I was only actually just meant to get this and the game. But while I was there, they gave us like a little docket that said 50% off this massive Nintendo across it. So I was like, oh, got to get some Nintendo stuff. So I was sucked in to buying more accessories. And I gave them like the 50% voucher that they gave us. And they were said that it was only for Nintendo loot. And I was so disappointed. So I ended up paying full price for everything. Damn you, EP Games. <laughs> but before we open this up, I will show you the accessories that I got. You might not even need some of these, but I got them because I got sucked into it and I'm a massive sucker for that. First of all, I got a screen protector because obviously just don't want to scratch the screen. I got the anti-glare one because if I wanted to take the Nintendo Switch out on the bus or somewhere, the sun is not gonna affect me at all. I got a Nintendo Switch AC adapter. I probably didn't even need this. But the guy was like, you know, it charges faster. Um, it, it's got higher volts and all this. I could have used my phone charger. He actually said that like, you can use your phone charger, but this has higher volts, so it'll charge it quicker. I'm like, okay, might as well. Um, this is freaking huge. <laughs> the other purpose of this is that you can charge your Switch while you're playing it. I also got this. You may not need it. Here is the case that I got. It's a hard case like this, it's a zipper all the way around and inside it comes with a microfiber cloth. It's got a little pouch here where it stores the cartridges, screen protector, another one, another screen protector, two screen protectors, headphones, it comes with a utility clip so you can clip your clip it onto your belt and the Nintendo Switch goes in here. Just like that. It's pretty secure in there. I also got the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Uh, they suggested this. They said it's a lot better than having just the Joy-Cons. Who knows? <laughs> I got sucked into it. <laughs> I was actually kind of disappointed. Like this was $99. That's pretty expensive. It comes with a charging cord, obviously to connect to the Pro Controller. So that's what it looks like. So it just looks like a normal... It actually feels kind of similar like to an Xbox controller. It is very comfortable actually, so maybe that's why they suggested to get this. We'll see in a second though. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. This game right here is the reason why I got the Switch. And in this, comes with a three size pro star check this out look how they're getting smaller and smaller this is like a, a camera SD card size look how tiny is that like look how tiny that is it also makes like a little can anyone hear that I'm not sure if it's meant to do that but it rattles finally we're gonna open up the Nintendo switch yeah Oh shit! <laughs> so it comes with two Joy-Con controllers and they are actually more neon than what it looks like on the box. And I decided to get these because everything else of mine is black or grey. So I thought maybe colour things up. <laughs> switch things up. Ah! Lol, switch buns. <laughs> and here it is. Whoa, I expected it to be a lot bigger, to be honest. I guess with the um, Joy-Cons, it would be a lot bigger. Let's try and slip these on. So they have like a little groove here that you just slide in. Oh, that felt so good. I'm like shaking. <laughs> oh man. I don't think the camera does this justice. Like this is beautiful. This is so beautiful. Imagine if I dropped it right now. 
Oh my god. So here's a quick comparison of the Nintendo 3DS XL. So it's a lot bigger, like the screen, obviously. It's got like this the feel of a PS Vita, but bigger. <laughs> also, there's two little buttons at the back here. To take the Joy-Cons off, you press that and lift it up. So simple as that. Now let's look at what else is in the box. So it comes with some accessories. Whoop. Comes with strap, strap things. So it comes with Joy-Con wrist guards. And I almost got suckered to buying this. I'm like, doesn't it come with it? So I wasn't sure, but they didn't say yes. But I'm glad I didn't get it because it does come with it. So mind you, don't get suckered into buying that. Each of the um, Joy-Con guards have a plus and a minus on both sides. So this is the minus side. It matches on one of the controllers. So this has a minus at the top here and you slip that through like that. So that's how you know how to put it in. Same with here. So it goes like that. And on the end here, there's a little white tab. You push that down or you just push it and it locks into place so this can't come off. Next is the Nintendo Switch control shell. I'll be making up names and the same, pretty sure it goes the same way. So that goes here, that one goes here. So that's what it looks like. Oh, where is that Nintendo Switch Pro Controller? Cause that makes a difference. Like this feels awkward. Like it feels odd to hold. So I guess you might want to get the Pro Controller cause this holds a lot better. It's comfortable in your hand. And the fact that these has, this has a massive square thing. I feel like you can't really grab onto the handles. Like it just feels weird, but if you don't want the Pro Controller, then I guess you don't have to have it. But I think it's like comfort wise, like this will annoy you if you're playing for a long time. So I probably would suggest this. Yeah, get this. <laughs> And I guess this is the Nintendo Switch port power dock. <laughs> At the back of this is a little tab that you just flip open and all the cords and whatever go in there. And it's actually neat. Like all the cords go in there nice and snug and neatly and comes out this hole into the plug. And so let's put this on. And it slips on just like that. Oh, be careful guys. <laughs> I just wanted to test that out to see if it was. Yeah, so I think this is a standing up kind of kind of thing. You couldn't have it on the side, otherwise it would just fall out. So it sits nicely like that. It's just being held by a little like USB thing, like kind of like the phones. Um, so that's what it looks like. I'll take these out and these go onto here and that's it that's the nintendo switch it's pretty cool so this is when you're on the go this is when you want to play it on your television or you can detach these and you can have this sitting down somewhere on your desk and then you can play with these that's why it's called a Switch. Um, let's see what else is in the box. Comes with HDMI cable. Are you fucking serious? I just bought a bloody charger and it comes with a bloody charger. <laughs> I was conned hard out. I'm disappointed. That was disappointing to know that there was a charger in there and they told me to buy a charger because it was extra fast. Actually, wait, I take that back. It's exactly the same as the charger that I bought, um, but this powers up the actual dock. 
So not the Switch, the dock. This part, the Nintendo slottery slot upper, whatever it's called. And I bought the other charger to charge the Switch. So you would need the other charger if you were just playing it on the couch and you don't want it to run out of battery. Um, otherwise, leave it in the dock and you're sorted. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I don't do this often, but I had to share my excitement. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel, just click down below. And it's now, it's now 2 a.m. in the morning and I'm gonna stop recording and play Zelda. That's all I've wanted to do <laughs> ever since it came out. See you later.